Everybody, welcome for another episode of Burning Briefs. I'm your host, Class, my co-host, Mr. J. What's going on? Yeah, and we back at it again, guys. And uh, another time, one. Yeah. yeah. This time we wanted to talk. Uh, let's. Well, first I want to do some announcements real quick. Uh, coming in around the next couple weeks, we're gonna have an interview. I, the date has been set for us to meet up and do an interview. We're gonna work on the technical stuff on that. But other than that, it's going to be exciting. We're, uh, we're going to do our 20th episode on this interview. So that's why we're doing these uh, Bernie Brief episodes now. Normally, we just, we're going to wait another week and do another episode. But today, we're going to do one on this one and next week. Because we want to get the 20th episode to be for the interview. Since we did the 10th episode on, on Lorenzo on Funko Pop. So we want to do it on this new guy who is Hollywood seller. So it's going to be fun. But anyway, getting into the subject today, because we were told on the comment section to talk about current events, let's talk about the bed, the pandemic. Let's talk about after, when it's done, when we no longer have to worry and everyone's been, in some cases, vaccinated or taken care of in some essence, or they don't have to worry about it anymore. What is it going to be like? I mean, you remember back in the day when we used to go to comedy clubs. I went to a comedy club. I went to go to movies. You know, we've gone to, you know, people gone to strip clubs. I mean, there's like, there was going to bars. I mean, you TGI Fridays. I mean, there were places you went, restaurants to interact and everything. Will it be the same? Will we have a new type of way now, you know? I, I mean, look, eventually things are going to go back to the way they were. It's just... There's gonna be that. Uh, there's gonna be that hesitation for a while, you know, because even though they say everything's open and then we're clear, and you know, there's you know, people hesitate at first, you know. So it's, it's a little iffy, if you know what I mean. You know, it's uh, not everybody's been vaccinated. <laughs> I, I, I will not name names, but not yeah. everybody's been vaccinated. Look, yeah. some people are older or you know just yeah yeah period just not comfortable with the vaccination in itself they just they've been hearing you know some some troubling things about it and you know it has side effects apparently and everyone's just like oh that's just the johnson and johnson one it's like uh you don't know that <laughs> i mean look you definitely have to do your research you definitely have to look into it um yeah. some people should should be vaccinated and some yeah. people just are not for it yeah. But um, you know. Yeah, like when all that, that's um, over with when all that's over with and they open everything back up, I think business is gonna be slow. You know, they're they're you know, oh, yeah. everyone's gonna hesitate at first. And then after a while, you know, maybe a week, two, everyone's gonna be like, Everything's back open, man. Let's go to the bar, let's go to the movies. Yeah, you know, everyone's I'm gonna just, rush back into it like I, you know it's gonna be like people are gonna act like nothing happened. You know? I miss the movies and, and bars, you know, for for one thing. But uh, at this point, even if I were to go back, I, I would still like six feet, six feet. Yeah, that's why we, but that's the thing, like, in the, all sense of reality, a lot of things have happened already. Like comedy, comedy clubs have been broken. Into yeah, they kind of died. Yeah. And then uh, and then you have like things like. Well, you got you got the comedy clubs, you got movies. Movies are kind of like different nowadays. You can't really go like it normally. Does. I think you. I don't know how it is to go to the movies. I don't even bother. A lot of them. A lot of them closed. A lot of them closed. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of things that are changing at this point about going back from this pandemic. There's no question in my mind about it. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have been affected by it too. People's life have been changed and it's kind of been impacted. So will things be the same? Restaurants have been closing. You know, a lot of things have been kind of affected by it so going back to the norm feels like it's not going to be i feel like we're going towards like a different direction where we're just going to start becoming like wally the movie yeah, i, I think it, it's going to be as normal as it can be under the circumstances you know uh, if that makes sense like yeah. it, it's a new norm you know some so honestly some people are still going to wear the mask for a while i probably still will just not because I feel safer with it on. It's just 
you kind of tend to forget. It's just one of those things you have to carry with you now. You've been carrying it around so long. It's just it's forced a habit. No, that's, yeah, and I mean, are we going to have to, like, and a lot of people are already kind of getting a little bit uh, angry or upset about the whole um, not wearing masks because people have been vaccinated, but they don't realize that. They still think that people are doing it as, like, a like a demonstration or a protest or something, and that's not the case, guys. Like, sometimes, it, I mean, people shouldn't have to walk around with a tag and say, hey, I got vaccinated, but yeah. we're getting to that point where even if not everybody gets vaccinated, the vast majority of people who did get vaccinated, it helps those who didn't get vaccinated because if they don't get sick and if those people still play it safe, those who don't get vaccinated still play it safe, you can still live in a world where everybody's fine. Mm -hmm. Be able to beat it. Uh, it's smart. And the not needs to be that. That's the truth. You can be or you can't be. It's, it's really your choice. It's free. Whatever makes you feel comfortable because uh, not everybody's going to want to do it. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, and uh, I don't know. I guess there. I feel like we're gonna get to a point where we're not gonna have theaters anymore, and we're just gonna do everything from the TVs. But I feel like it ruins the quality of of theaters. You remember how it was going into a theater, hearing the sounds around you and stuff, bro? It, it was amazing. You know, being in that little dim light and everything. The only thing that stunk was people. Yeah, yeah. It, it was the other people in the room. Yeah, it was those people who, that were like who yelling. Totally or, ruined the movie for you start talking and saying something stupid like uh, like a joke as if it's supposed to be like we need to hear that right now like it's funny no don't want to. you're not no <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't bro i just can't um especially since they're like <clears throat> some people actually bring their kids to the theater yeah i'm sorry people much respect much love i get it some people can't afford a nanny or something but there's a relative or a friend I think we can ask to stay for just two hours to watch a baby in a crate. Because the, I, I agree some, somewhat, but I don't. Like, if you want to take your kids to the movies, that's that's your business and you are free to do so. But baby. I just, yeah, a baby. A ba I'm just, I'm questioning the baby part just because, that's look, it. it's a dark room. It's loud. Yep. And like babies get freaked out easily by loud noises. So it's just like you're taking a kid into a big dark room. There's a bunch of loud stuff going off around him. Of course, he's going to freak out. Come yeah, on. That's true. No, I was given, was given the thing with the baby doing it's not it's not a good idea with the kids. Fine, because kids, at least you can kind of interact with them and kind of tell them like, hey, hey, this is sit down, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but with when it comes to a baby, babies don't know any better. They're just going to react to everything around them and freak out sometimes and they're going to be crying or they're not going to cry. But you can't expect you can't expect people to just like deal with it. That doesn't make any sense. Like, what? So oh, it's that, my baby's crying. It's your problem now. It's like, uh, yeah, like no, everybody's dude. <laughs> problem here now. OK, otherwise I'm gonna make you feel bad. I'm like, oh, great. Cool. That's what right. I wanted. My movie <laughs> entertainment. A little bit of guilt with the show. <laughs> Not dinner. Yeah. Show guilt with the show. <laughs> you know, just like I said, dark room, loud noises. You know, it, it's going to freak him out. Like Don't do that to the kid. Bringing a dog and expecting it to behave when something happens with the lights or something on the show, and they're like, huh? <laughs> Dog's like, What's going on? What's that noise? Who is that? Start barking in the other dog. I mean, but I think you know, to, to be able to, to go to a theater, period, would be nice. You know, just to be able to go to a restaurant and not sit outside under a tent it's like all right but uh most really I'm, I'm looking forward to like sporting events being back open you know i'm definitely looking forward to oh that's go be exciting. yeah yeah ufc's kind of going that direction already and bringing some audience back i think joe Rogan was talking about it like he had Fifteen thousand people, I think, there or some. I can't remember what the number was. No, they'll probably let in a small amount of people at a time. Yeah, which is good. Like, I mean, it sucks because the limit does cause a lot of funding issues, like money wise. Like, only having a certain amount of people means, like, okay, now you can only give people a certain amount of tickets. You can't go over the limit with tickets. You can't get like a hundred thousand people. Now you have to think about maybe just fifty thousand people instead. You know. Well, like, yeah, because especially like with sporting events, like. 
a whole part of their big revenue was how many tickets they sell, how many people they. So they used to love to just pack as many people into a stadium as they could. Yeah. Like, I mean, low numbers for them were no good. No good. I mean, somebody's yeah. getting fired. I mean, same thing with the uh, electric dance cardinals now. Like, they're not like the, they were before. Like, now they're extending uh, festivals to later dates because, oh. you know, of the whole yeah. situation, you know? Con- and concerts the- being canceled yeah, was could- definitely a big, huge bummer. It was a bummer. Like, you couldn't even see people uh, stand up. You couldn't see artists. You couldn't see anything. It was a bummer. And even festivals were the big ones because that's where how their bread and butter was made. People coming to the festivals, interacting with the uh, DJs and stuff like that. That's the whole point. But now they had to. No one get me wrong, but you can tell like it was a lot of work to just 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 to stay alive in this type of like environment. Especially yeah. For the, the, the like lower middle class in the world, you know, the working class. Um, but the wealthy were getting. They're doing well. And apparently. Yeah, they were. They were fine. They were good. They're. They're back. They yeah. actually made money. Even though some of them, you know, like complained about it, and it's just like, you're you're rich. What are you complaining about? But what are we what are we talking about here? Like some people were, bra- you know, bragging with their Gucci bags or something, or like they were showing off their little watch or like a boat or where they celebrated. Mm-hmm. Stuff. Don't get me wrong, do you? But like at the end of the day, nobody needs to see that during these times. That's not that's not needed. Uh, one one example was Ellen DeGeneres. I thought I found this kind of funny. She basically she looked pretty teary eyed. She looked like she was like on the point about to cry. But basically, her whole argument was, you know, this whole like this was under the the lockdown when we were all on, under house arrest, pretty much. Oh yeah, yeah. And she was like, like this is terrible. You know, this is like worse than being in prison or being in jail. Oh, yeah, she said something really And, yeah. like, so many people just jumped on her, like, really quick. It's like, lady, you have a multi-million dollar house. Are you really comparing that to being in jail? You're working in a big old mansion. You're doing your studio in a big old mansion, and they're still paying you. And yeah, you're complaining she's, about she's still getting paid, and she's just like, I feel like a prisoner in my own home, even though my home is a million dollar house and is like gorgeous so big and you can walk around you can literally echo your voice around it and everything but i don't have like my servants and my butlers to work for me so like you know i'm bummed out i have to do i have to do everything myself cares it's like really oh yeah the the, the, the smallest violin here we go the smallest right here can you hear it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, a, a big number of her fan base left her after that. And it, it was kind of... You can blame her. I mean, I mean, who can blame them? Sorry. Yeah. I mean, really, it's just like, lady, are you seriously complaining? Really? Yeah. You get It's like uh, when when you see... The, uh, what's her name? I forget that woman that said the N-word. And she was like a... Whole, she was a cooking, like, southern girl cook... Southern woman cooking type of person. I can't remember her name. Pa- Paula Dean? Paula Dean, yes. When she said that, like, you could see that, like, the reality of people's, like, entitlement of not realizing their fame and thinking that they can, and they don't realize that it's because of certain people and those ethnicity that they got to where they were. So, yeah. it's like, they don't realize, once they get to that, you remember who built it, right? <laughs> Yeah, you didn't. Build it. You can say, "Oh, I I built it with nothing." He's like, "No, you didn't physically build it. There were people who, who built it for you. You got a fan base. You had people come and get. Everybody loved you. That's how you got attraction. That's how you got ads. That's how you got promotions. That's how you got nice. That's how it happened. That's how you get free meals. Yeah, how did celebrities get free meals? No, um, there was this this video on i think it's on instagram or something like that it's it's basically just a video of Nicki minaj uh she's a a female rapper yeah but anyway the the whole caption on the video is this woman makes millions of dollars and you don't charge her why and then like the whole thing is she's at her, her nail salon or something like that but she's getting her nails done or or something like that she's she's having some type of of work done and this lady who, like, I guess she's been going to her for years or, or what have you, this lady refuses to take her money. And, like, she's over there trying to hand her, like, a stack of cash to 
pay for whatever she had had done. And she's just like, she never takes my money. She's like, here, take it. She's like, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's like, wait a minute. You have a client that's willing to just hand you a stack of cash for what you do. And you're over here. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. What are you doing? <laughs> What are we talking about here? Like, and it's almost like she knows, like, oh, I gotta keep coming. This person. She'll keep saying no to me. <laughs> it's it's else? it's just funny, you know, when you when you give celebrities free stuff and they're just like, oh, thanks, even though like I can afford to buy like five of them. <laughs> yeah, I could buy your house. I could buy your company. Hell, I can I can buy you out of everything right now if I wanted to. But oh, thank you so much for giving me free stuff. It's like, what what are we doing here? We, right. they're, they're gods to us. You know? we're, <laughs> we're making the rich richer, and it's terrible. <laughs> You know, it's funny. The same thing happened with uh, Nancy Pelosi, who's a representative of Democrat politics. Uh, Democrat. Like, yeah, I've heard that name before. And she did. I think she went to a nail salon, and she was complaining about people going to a nail salon, even though she went to a nail salon to get her hair or her nails done or something like that. And she had like some nerve to be talking about people and acting self righteous about how people aren't doing the right thing, and she was doing the same thing. It was like, there's a limit to your to how high you guys go and realize that there's a river of us that exists. So you yeah. might want to keep that in mind. Look down. Don't, don't keep looking up. It's, it's, it's also like another thing, so, like you have to realize celebrities, on, celebrities don't realize how much they need their fan base. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I'm famous. I make, I make money. And what? It's like, no, you need all those fans underneath you. You know, you need yeah. them. No, no matter what you say, no matter what you think, you need them because they buy your product. Yeah. They put money in your pocket. Without yeah. them buying your stuff, there's really no, almost no way for you to make that money. You ain't got that mansion. You ain't got that nice chef. You ain't got that limo driver. You ain't got that butler. You ain't got that maid. Remember, those people are the ones who also make sure you get taken care of. Security, private security, everybody. That you talk of, remember Fight Club is exactly that rep that replica. Everybody you like to talk down to or mistreat, remember these people handle your. They take care of everything for you, so respect them. Yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it on that note. Um, if you guys like this, you know you know what to do, man. You guys know what to do. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.